Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am reviewing the newest stock footage asset provider for visual effects artists, Visual Effects Pro. Visual Effects Pro is a stock footage provider based out of the UK. The company was established in 2020 by Mark Miko and Scott Burchell. Mark worked as a professional freelance VFX artist for over six years. During that time, he found it difficult to find high-quality stock footage assets for his visual effects. So, he began creating his own stock footage elements. Visual FX Pro is the result of that endeavor. I have provided an affiliate link to their website in the notes below. Please note that this review is my honest opinion, and I am not being paid. Looking at their complete stock footage library, you can see that they have fire, gun, blood and gore, particles, smoke, space, weather, and motion graphic assets available. They also have editing assets including transitions, fonts, and textures. There are free visual effects elements as well as assets that you can purchase. These assets have been used to create visual effects by several different well-known companies including Netflix and IGN. I have personally downloaded a bunch of these assets including many of the fire, embers, falling snow, muzzle flashes, spark hits, and smoke elements. They come in both 2K and 4K quality at 60 frames per second. Almost all of the assets that I reviewed are kept completely in frame, which is always nice, and are very much correctly exposed. They are delivered in ProRes 4444 with the alpha channel embedded. Therefore, there is no keying needed. Let's take a look at how they do in HitFilm. So here's a shot that I have some people with their dogs here in the snow. And all I did was I added a close-up snow, a falling snow in the mid-range, and then a wide-range shot. And now I have this beautiful looking snowfall where there wasn't any before. Here's a shot where I have a window. And first thing, of course, I wanted to do was go ahead and add a heat distortion to this. So that when I add my fire elements, it looks realistic. Then I'll go ahead and add a ground fire in the background. Of course, all this has been tracked. And then a window fire on top of that. And of course, some embers. I added some snow here as well. And then I color graded the whole thing. And I ended up with this pretty nice looking shot of a fire at night in this window of this house. All right, so let's take a look at spark hits. So these three cans are sitting here and a rocket's thrown in here and hits that can. And I said, man, I want to just add a spark hit. So I pulled up spark hit one and bang, added it right here in this piece where the contact happens. And you can see that adds a lot to that shot. So let's take a look at this shot. We have this situation uh, where we pan up from the windowsill to see this guy, but you'll notice that there's a blood smear on this windowsill. If I go into this, this is a, we'll find out that this is actually a vertical video, and that blood smear does not actually exist in that shot, and all I did was just pan up the vertical video, but I added the blood smear here after creating four points and tracking them in that shot down here on the windowsill. And then I used a blood smear PNG file and I, using a quad warp effect, pin that to that area. If you want to know how to do that, I will uh, add a uh, link in the upper right hand corner to show you how to do that. Notice also that I added a little bit of a blur to let it match the uh, surrounding video as well. One more, I'm just going to uh, add some fire embers, which are very, very subtle in this uh, stock footage, but I went ahead and added it to this footage here to make it look a little bit more realistic, a little bit more dynamic in the 
campfire with that crackling fire happening. The window fire pack is delivered in the newer ProRes 4444XQ format, which apparently is really great. I say apparently because HitFilm does not support that newer format. So if you are using HitFilm, you will need to download the older ProRes 4444 versions. Users of Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Avid Media Composer, and DaVinci Resolve can all take advantage of the newer formatted footage, so enjoy that. So if you are using HitFilm, you will need to convert these using something like Handbrake in order to take advantage of them. I'm Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel, and this has been a full review of Visual FX Pro. Check them out for yourself. There is a link in the description below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I would be delighted to answer them for you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.